Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about the 2016 Classics Challenge, which is being run by Stacey over at the Pretty Books again. I adore her blog, so if you haven't checked it out, you definitely should. She also has a Tumblr, which is amazing. I adore her, she's such a good friend of mine. I haven't participated in any reading challenges for ages. I haven't done one for about two or three years, I don't think. But I decided that in 2016, I was going to do at least one. And so I've chosen to do the Classics Challenge. Obviously, as I've talked about, quite a lot on my channel. I've read a lot of classics in 2015 and I'd really like to carry that on in 2016. So I've chosen quite a few books that I want to talk about. There is a sign up post where you can find out all the details and then leave a link to where you'll be participating. So I'll leave that in the comments below so that you can join in if you want to. It's quite an informal thing and if you don't read a classic a month there's no issue with that. But I just wanted to challenge myself a bit because I have been enjoying reading lots and lots of classics. These are only some of the classics I'm going to read and there's no guarantee that I will read them all. But these are the ones that I would like to read. So the first one is Side with Rosie by Laurie Lee. I don't know an awful lot about this one but this was adapted into a BBC series um, a few months ago I think and I have it on record but I want to read the book before I watch it so this is going to be the first classic that I read and I'm quite excited to read it because it's more of a modern classic rather than an old 1800 style classic. On the back it says Side with Rosie puts on record the England that was traded for the petrol engine. Recalling life in a remote Cotswold village some 50 years ago, Laurie Lee conveys the semi-peasant spirit of a thousand years old tradition and I think that that sounds amazing. Then we have the three Austen books that I want to read. I've already read Pride and Prejudice and it was one of my favourite books of 2015 so I've got three more that I want to read. The first one is Northanger Abbey. This is set in Bath and it's a lot to do with the society and this is a book that I'm most excited to read at the moment. Out of all the books on my bookcase this is the one that I want to read the most. Then we have Persuasion which I think is a bit of a love story and I've heard quite a bit about this one. It's about a woman called Anne Elliot who turns down the man she loves and refuses to marry him and then he comes back into her life quite a few years later. On the back it says, you pierce my soul, I am half agony, half hope, I have loved none but you. Sounds great to me, I love it. And the final Austen book I want to read is Sense and Sensibility. I've heard this compared to Cinderella um, which intrigues me a lot and in the front it says, Eleanor is as prudent as her sister Marianne is impetuous. Each must learn from the other after they are forced by their father's death to leave their home and enter into the contests of polite society. Obviously Jane Austen's book are a lot to do with society and the society in those days and I'm going to be talking about that in a future video once I've read these books. I want to make a lot of Austen inspired videos this year so this is definitely going to help me by reading these. In year seven of school we studied Frankenstein by Mary Shelley but it was a play kind of version of it. It wasn't the full text so I'd quite like to read the full book this year because I really like the story and I'm really intrigued by it and I really enjoyed it when we studied it so it will be good to read the final version and it's also not a very long book. I already know that it's got quite a different narrative to a lot of books and it's going to be a perfect gothic read because I love gothic books so much. Another gothic novel and we have The Picture of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. I want to read this because my friend Annabelle raves about Oscar Wilde so much and so I've got to read something by him and I thought this would be a, a really good place to start. So I'm hoping that I'll enjoy this and then be able to read lots more of his novels. It's also not a very long one. I've chosen quite short classics because I don't get on with a lot of longer classics, but we'll see. I, I feel like I'm going to like this one a lot. Oscar Wilde deals a lot with beauty and the way you look and um, self-indulgence, so that seems pretty interesting to me. The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger is one of my favourite classics and I also read Franny and Zoe in 2015, so I'd like to read Raise High the Roof Bean Carpenters and Seymour an Introduction in 2016 because I really like J.D. Salinger's works. Catcher in the Rye is so phenomenal. I have kind of mixed feelings on Franny and Zoe so this is a continuation or tied in with a story in Franny and Zoe. J.D. Salinger wrote a lot about the Glass family and this is about Seymour and some other characters. I kind of wish I'd read this one before Franny and Zoe because Franny and Zoe comes later on but it's going to still be very good and I, I'm hoping that I will enjoy it but I'm not entirely sure at the moment. I'm kind of mixed. And then finally we've got some cheat books just in case I don't read a classic. I kind of wanted to have some books that I could read so I at least read one a month. So I've chosen the Penguin Little Black Classic. So I've got The Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman which I've heard is a brilliant feminist story. Emily Bronte's poems which is The Night is Darkening Around Me and I love Emily Bronte. Wuthering Heights is one of my favourite books. The Great Fire of London by Samuel Pepys. I studied The Great Fire of London when I was in year one. 
so I must have been about six or seven and that really sparked my love of history and it's why I love history so much because I got so into the history of it. So I was obviously too young to read this then but now that I'm a bit older I'm looking forward to reading it a lot. The Tinderbox by Hans Christian Andersen. I've never actually read anything by Hans Christian Andersen which is amazing seeing as though he's such a fantastic writer and so it will be really good to finally read something by him. And then finally The Beautiful Cassandra by Jane Austen. Cassandra was her sister. I only recently made the link that the title had the same name as her sister. I don't really know how I didn't figure that one out for ages. I think this is a collection of short novellas, very short novellas, they're only a, a few pages long, but I think that I'm going to love it because I love Austen so much. Jane Austen is my favourite, I want to be best friends with her. So those are some of the books that I would like to read for the 2016 Classics Challenge. All the links are down below for all the details if you want to participate. If you are participating then let me know in the comments below some of the books that you're hoping to read and if you've read any of these and if you love them. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I will see you guys soon. Happy reading!